appreciate you coming and making the effort um, because we've got some exciting things to show you. So welcome, welcome. And without further ado, we're going to get on and give you some information about science here at GCS. So let's have a look. Uh, a great man once said, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Why is that important? What do we look at every day? What do our children look at every day? Well, let's be honest, there's a lot of screens happening. So what we want to do is bring them back to the real world and make sure that they are discovering and doing all of the things that you and I did when we were young and when we didn't have screens, okay? Let's bring the world back to our children. And that's our aim here at GCS. We want science to open their minds and help them to discover the world around them. Questions. What do you already know? And are you sure about it? Nothing is ever as it seems. And today in your experiments on the table, you'll find things that you might not know the answers to. But answering questions is how we learn. And this is the basis for how our teaching is done at Science Here. What is science for? Well, what do you think? Talk to the people on your table just for one or two moments. What do you think is science? Please share some things with yourselves. What is science? What's it for? What do you think? Life. Life? Yeah? Life? Experiments? Yeah? <laughs> magic, I heard the word magic. Um, sometimes when we do science, some of the children use that word and they'll say magic because it's something that's unusual and strange that's happening and they can't explain it. But that's fine. We, we want them to have things that they can't explain and have an inquiring mind about. Any ideas on this? Creativity. Creativity. Yes. Yes, tell me. Hi. Welcome, welcome everyone. Yes, tell me. It's supposed to know about the real life. Yes. It is, it's exactly that. It's to know about the real life. What's going on in the world around us right now? Right, ladies and gentlemen, parents, I know that you are here because you care about the education of your children. I know that you would like to find out ways in which you can help them to get better at science. So here at GCS, the end goal obviously is to get to your exams and to pass the exams and then think about what you want to do after that in your future. Do you want to be a scientist? Do you want to change the world? Well, really, what we want is for them to have inquiring minds. It doesn't matter if they don't become a scientist. What matters is that they have thought of questions, that they have explored the world around them, that they've come up with their own things that they want to learn, that they question the things that they already know and that they learn more as they grow. So, skills for life. Here at GCS, design thinking is one of the core things that we embed within our curriculum. It's getting children to think, getting them to collaborate together, creating things, finding a way to improve something that they already do, questioning and developing vocabulary. Many of our children and students and parents, we're all developing our vocabulary, so it's a key part of what we do whilst we are teaching science, is develop that vocabulary. How do you like to learn? Well, it's hands-on, it's discovery, observing and questioning. Science is about wonder. What do you see? We have to think like scientists, and this is what we encourage our children to do. I see, what do I physically see in front of us? And what I want you all to do today is whilst you're at the tables and you'll move around, so get ready for some movement. I want you to use your observational skills. I want you to think like a scientist. What do you actually see happening? Can you describe it? Can you use your senses to see, hear, touch, taste, smell? All of those will give you information. And then what do you already know? And what, do you, what could you find out about? And finally, wonder. I wonder. I wonder what will happen if. I wonder why. See, all of these questions are there already ticking over in your mind. So just a tiny bit of background about what happens here in our school to make sure that we know exactly what your children uh, understand about science and how inquiring their minds are and how they are making questions and answering questions. Here is a few things that we do. The first thing, 
the big question. Every science lesson starts with a big question. Uh, this is how we engage the children. It has to be a real life event. It has to be something that, pers that is personal to them and that they can really think about. Here's an example. Mohammed has just had his lunch. A thought comes into his mind. What happens to the pasta I just had? So look, we've started the lesson and we've got a hook. Hopefully by the end of the lesson, once they've had a bit of discovery, they'll find out what happens. So, um, let's go on. How, with the teaching, the training that we do for our teachers. So at the moment, we are busy doing something called a science spotlight. All of the teachers are involved in developing their understanding of science and how we teach it in the curriculum. We look at the books carefully and we look at how well our children are understanding the topics that we are covering. So here's an example of some of the I see, I think, I wonder areas and some of the thoughts that the children have been coming out with. Okay. Um, we also make sure that our children are ready as they transition from key stage, so they develop through from the early years, key stage one, key stage two. We make sure we grow those skills and we're making assessments as we go along so that we know the gaps and the areas that we need to fill, um, ready for them to move through into secondary school so that they will have the skills needed to be able to do their investigations, to be able to carry out their inquiries. Um, and we have a, a, a tracking and assessment this happens every half term. Every subject, in fact, you will, you don't know what goes on in the background, ladies and gentlemen, but you would be amazed if you could see it. Every child is tracked carefully in all of the areas of work. So what we want to do is know what exactly they know, know how they've made progress, know the children that we want to target and move on and make sure that every child succeeds. Uh, here is, so here's some of our staff here doing some exploring yesterday in their training sessions. Now it's time for your go. Are we ready? So what we're going to do is give you five minutes on each table. On each table there will be a, an adult uh, or a, one of our lovely helpful scientists who come along to entertain you and to help your minds grow through questioning. Um, we'll ask you to move around in an anti-clockwise motion. So once you've had five minutes here, you'll move to the next table around the outside. If you're in the middle, you'll go, uh, you'll go that way. And if you're there, you'll come here, if that makes sense. But we'll direct you each time. Are you ready to find out and do some exploring? Brilliant, fantastic. So if I could ask our scientists and teachers to help out on the tables, please, um, I would, ex I would ex ask you to stand and help and explore. Thanks, everyone.